The 29th of July, 1981. Like most families, the Marotras were watching the royal wedding. They had a prime spot on a balcony on Fleet Street. But just hours later, eight-year-old Vishal Marotra had vanished while going to buy sweets near his home in Putney. Police launched a major missing persons inquiry and appealed via the press to anyone who may have seen Vishal. But a massive search failed to find him. And seven months later, his father received the worst possible news. I thought that there's very little hope. I, I was just hoping that something might, you know, he might still be alive. Vishal's partial remains were found in a shallow grave in a field in rural Sussex. No one has ever been charged in connection with his death. The person who has committed this crime has never been found. Vishal's father, Vishamba, has spent 33 years asking what happened to his son. He increasingly fears Vishal could have been a victim of paedophiles connected to VIPs. The Met Police are currently investigating possible murders by a paedophile network involving VIPs, including politicians, and are trying to establish if Vishal's case is connected. Mr Marotra's belief that there could be a link and a subsequent cover-up stems in part from an incident he says happened in the months after Vishal went missing near his home. During the search, Mr Marotra describes receiving a phone call from a young man. He said he had information that in the area where Vishal disappeared, paedophiles were operating. He talked specifically about politicians and police officers. Mr Marotra says he recorded that conversation, that he handed it to detectives, but they told him to ignore it. How detectives dealt with any recording is now being looked into by the police watchdog and is just one in a growing series of complaints. Another revolves around the case of Sidney Cook and his paedophile gang, convicted of the killing of three boys in the 1980s. Detectives were told by an informant that the gang bragged about also killing an Asian boy. Police now are investigating what was done to find out whether this was Vishal. In 2005, Sussex police told Mr Marotra they were carrying out a review of Vishal's case. Ten years on, the family says they had heard nothing. But last week, Sussex police finally released it. It's 22 pages long, heavily redacted, and it raises further questions for the family about potential links between Vishal's death and the killings carried out by Sidney Cook's gang. The report reveals that on three occasions, other police forces had looked at whether there was a connection with Sidney Cook. The Met's paedophile unit at one stage said there were strong similarities between the cases, but it's unclear from the report whatever happened to these inquiries. Now, the questions raised by Mr Marotra about whether police investigated this properly have led to a number of MPs backing his call for the case to be reopened. I can't think of another example where there are more um, moments where key evidence has not been picked up, where key trails have not been followed, where police have been stopped in their tracks, when questions have been left hanging. Um, I, I think the case for opening this case again is overwhelming. Sussex police say they're looking into new investigative opportunities, but the force are now coming under increasing pressure to reopen this case to try and end 33 years of not knowing what happened to Vishal.